Hello, welcome back to a new Elden Ring build video. Today I'll show you how to make an assassin stealth build and we're going to be focusing mainly on being silent and stealthing and sneaking about. Okay, so the most important thing when it comes to being sneaky is being quiet. In Elden Ring, sound plays a very important role and enemies can hear you if you make noise. The best way to get rid of any noise you can make is by getting this suit of armor called the Black Knife Armor Set. And apart from looking really cool and making you look like an assassin, it has a very interesting feature which you might not notice straight away. You see a little foot at the top of the status bars. That little foot means you are now very, very quiet. And basically this armor set makes it so you can run and jump and not make any noise. Now, usually you'd have to crouch to achieve the same effect, but crouching makes you run very slowly. And if you don't have much patience and you want to sprint towards your enemy's backside to do a sneak attack, then crouching can be a bit of a pain in the buttocks. There's also a talisman that achieves the same effect, it's called Creepus Veil, and if you have this talisman then it also cancels out any sound. So if you don't want to wear the armor set, you could get Creepus Veil talisman and it does the same thing, or you could just wear the armor set and free up a talisman slot. Also, the interesting thing about the Black Knife armor set is that you don't actually have to equip every piece of the set to get the silent sing bonus. You could switch out a piece of the armor, for example, if you don't like the headpiece, you could change out the headpiece for this black hood, which has a face mask, which also looks very assassinish or ninja-ish. If you want to see how much of a difference it makes to be wearing normal armor versus the Black Knife silencing armor, then you can see in this video clip when I don't have the black knife armor equipped and I walk nearby this enemy, they hear me straight away and they start attacking me. But when I wear the black knife armor set, I can literally stand right next to this enemy and walk around and sprint and even jump up and down and they can't even hear anything. They don't even realize that I'm standing right next to them. I can even jump up and down next to them, right up against them, and do anything I really want to, and they will never even notice I'm there until I attack. So now that we look very stylish and we look like an assassin, which is probably the most important part of being an assassin, is we have to look the part. Let me show you where you can get this armor set. So you want to go to the northern area of the map to where it's very snowy and go to the place called Ordina Liturgical Town or whatever it's called and you want to go right and go around these buildings and you'll find a staircase and you go under the staircase and there's and under the staircase you'll find a body of an assassin and you can loot from his body all of the armor set pieces the black knife armor set and that's where you get it from. There's also kind of like a puzzle in this area where you have to light the torches in the towers to unlock the magical barrier. It's the same as the other area that does the same thing. But the difference with this is one of the assassins is stalking around and he will ambush you and he's going to be invisible. And I've seen some people complain about how this is so difficult. But you can actually get a sentry's torch from Lanedale Capital and if you equip this in your offhand you can basically disable his stealthing mechanics and you can see him. Now to make ourselves even more of a deadly assassin there's a special spell that makes you partially invisible. It's called Unseen Form and you'll need a stave or a staff to be able to cast this spell and you need a bit of intelligence as well and basically what it does is it makes you able to walk straight up to enemies right in front of them and they won't be able to see you. Obviously if you get too close they will start to notice you and they'll do like a little twitch and if you stay too close they'll start coming towards you but if you back away they'll lose track of you again and as you can see when the spell wears off the enemy can see me again and he starts coming to attack me. Now even though this has limits and it doesn't make you completely invisible, it does have a few cool things you can do with it. For example, you could sneak up behind an enemy, do a sneak attack, and his allies or his friends might hear the attack and come investigate, but they won't actually be able to see you if you get away in time. And then you can sneak away quickly and go back in for another sneaky backstab. It can be really useful if you're in some kind of dungeon and you're trying to sneak about taking enemies out one by one and you don't want to be detected. So if you want to get this spell, you have to head over to Altus Plateau and you go to this area where there's a lot of trees and there's kind of like a puzzle where you've got to locate these three phantom things and they're just scattered around the area on the map here and when you've found all of them, you go back to the imp holding a book and you'll see this tower appear 
and you go up into the tower at the top there's a corpse and a chest and there's two spells you can get here you'll get unseen form and you also get this other spell which makes your weapon invisible and i don't really see the point of this spell it's called unseen blade it just makes your weapon go invisible and that's it really i don't really see how that's going to help you much in life but Yep, if you want to make your weapon go invisible, then you can do that. Maybe it's good in PvP because the, your opponent can't see your weapon and then it's harder for them to predict the attacks coming in or something. I don't know. I found that it just made things more difficult because then I don't know where my weapon is. I don't know how long it is anymore. I don't know where the end is. So I found it more difficult to judge attacks when I'm charging up the attacks. So kind of a pointless spell, but... It's a little bit cool, I guess. Now, as for the playstyle and the talismans, there's not really any special talismans that really helps this build. There are two sneaking talismans, like the one I mentioned earlier. There's also one where you crouch and it's supposed to make you invisible slightly, but I didn't really notice that it made any difference. So I don't use them and the black knife set gives you the silence feature already, so you don't really need another talisman that does the same thing. It would be really nice if there was a talisman that boosts the damage of sneak attacks and backstabs because otherwise without the sneak attacks this build is pretty weak because you're not very tanky, you can't really take a lot of hits very well and your weapons aren't really that strong unless you go for a two-handed claymore or maybe a great sword. If you want to do daggers which was what I wanted to do because usually assassins have daggers you know like in World Warcraft when you've got a rogue usually they have dual wield daggers so that's what I wanted to do but the daggers in Elden Ring are just kind of weak and rubbish they don't stagger the enemies they don't do really good damage they are quick but then so many enemies in the game can just stagger you back which makes your fast weapons kind of meaningless. So it's not really the best build if you're going up against strong and tough enemies. Against bosses is pretty rubbish because you're not going to be sneaking around bosses are you? You're going to attack them then they'll know you're there and you won't really be able to sneak away again. But I thought it'd be a fun little build to focus on stealthing and sneaking and see what you can do with it. Anyway that's my stealth assassins build. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.